Welcome to my Beehive email template tutorial. Here I'm gonna be showing you how to create and save an email template in Beehive so that you can leverage the power of this great feature and ultimately save you a good amount of time. Two things before I begin. Of course, if you haven't gotten to test out Beehive, I will leave my link below in the description. We can actually test them out for free or maybe if you just want easier login access, you can use that as well. That's about it. Let's get up and running very quickly. So once you are in your dashboard, what you wanna do is hover on over to the left side right here and just simply click on start writing. And boom, just like that, we are done. Good to go home, just kidding. Uh, but this isn't gonna be too long of a tutorial. I'm gonna show you what I like utilizing in terms of a newsletter just sections. And then of course, I'll show you how to save it, which spoiler alert is going to be right here. So I'm gonna skip out on a lot of the things like title, subtitle, you know, the authors. A lot of that's pretty self-explanatory. You're here for the template aspects. So that's what I'm gonna give you. First and foremost at the top, if you wanna use a logo, I think this is going to be a great spot for it. And in case you're not too familiar with Beehive, they don't have a drag and drop editor, but in my opinion, I think theirs is actually better. So we just need a forward slash here, let's type it in. And when you do that, you can see all of the things that you can utilize. We're gonna be doing some images here. So I already have some, I'm just gonna use mine from library. I'm gonna go with my logo right here. And just like that, if you wanna add a caption, you can do that. So this is gonna be the introduction. And I'm just gonna like basically tell you what's gonna be in this section. So this is gonna be like, you know, thanks for checking out our newsletter today about so-and-so. Talking about this topic is gonna to be beneficial. It's pretty much a blurb that's a paragraph that's gonna introduce someone and just kind of interest, pique their interest about what's gonna be going on in this specific newsletter, okay? Something else I wanna talk about is gonna be the aesthetics. So give me one moment. I'm gonna open up ChatGPT and then I'm just gonna show you like an example and how you can actually make it look better. All right, so I used ChatGPT and it came up with this very quickly. Like I said, pretty short. Uh, welcome to this week's edition of the newsletter names. So that would be Marketing Island. I'm excited to have you here and I hope you're ready to dive into some actionable strategies and insights designed to help you grow your digital business. So in today's newsletter, we're gonna be covering some valuable tips on whatever it's going to be and how you can apply it to your affiliate marketing You know, to your next level. It doesn't have to be that, this is just an example. Plus, I'll give you a sneak peek into the upcoming webinar where we'll dive deep into this specific topic and so on and so forth. Let's get started, okay? So, I mean, it doesn't even always have to be that long. You could do something like this uh, just to make it a little bit shorter. And I also like making, you notice how like there's a few paragraphs or a few sentences here. I like breaking it up so that it's just a little bit smaller. It's easier to read, right? So let's say we have some text there. We're gonna do forward slash. I love adding content breaks. I think they look fantastic. It's a great way to divide things up. So now what we wanna do is utilize forward slash. And now like using H2s, heading one is usually like a main title and then you wanna go with a heading two from there. So something that this could be about like webinars, right? Underneath it, I like adding an image just cause like with my brand, I, I like using images overall. I know sometimes if you use too many, like the chances are gonna be higher that you could get sent to spam. So it's really up to you how many you want to use. I'm just gonna leave that up to you. But as an example here, I'm gonna go with this one. It's very vibrant, it's very tropical, you know, it relates to my brand. And uh, going down here, once again, we can add more text. It's more about what are you gonna be talking about in this specific one? So let's say this was gonna be about webinars and maybe I was reviewing one, so I would talk about it, I would do the benefits. And something else that I wanna bring up here is that if you have a lot of text and you wanna break it up more, we can do forward slash and we can do a bullet list. So we could just talk about maybe like benefit one here, benefit two, benefit three, benefit four, and then we go back to adding <laughs> not that, that's not adding, there we go, back to adding more text and so on and so forth. I think that's just a great way of breaking up some of the information so it's easier to skim read and it doesn't look too intimidating You know, with having just like a college essay there and so on and so forth. Now another example of what you can do, given the fact that say this was about, maybe I was doing a review for a product and I did a video on it, what you can do is say we're going to YouTube here and what I'm gonna do is just get the URL. In fact, I'll just get a, a review for Beehive. So give me one moment, I'm gonna grab the URL. Okay, so I have the URL, I'm gonna paste or type a URL right here. I'm gonna click enter. And just like that, that's going to be this. So this doesn't matter too much if you're creating a template because it's always going to change. And here's something else that's great you can do. You can do forward slash. And let's say like maybe I was adding my link there. What I can also do instead of if I wanted to add text, I can do that, but I can also add a button. So for this, I'm just gonna do custom. I'm gonna say something like, click here to try Beehive for 
free today. And let's say this is gonna be the link. I'm just gonna do the beehivewebsite.com. We can do okay. There's gonna be some settings here in case you wanna change around the colors. I'm not gonna mess around too much with that, but that's just gonna be an example. So when I click here, you can also see that it's gonna be going to Beehive at the bottom left. I don't have to click there, but you now know it's gonna be going there. So that's a great way to add a button. And so ultimately, depending on how many topics you're gonna be talking about, I like repeating the process for this. So as an example, we would go down to our next section now. So we have forward slash, we have a content break, and we're gonna be repeating the same process for as long as you wanna do it, right? You don't have to do a, a ton of them. So maybe we're gonna be doing now YouTube marketing. And of course, maybe you have an image with it. It's That's up to you how many you wanna use. Let's go with image, two from our library. And this one looks cool. That one's actually more of a, a webinar one, which is fine. And once again, we have our text and it's really gonna be up to you what you wanna put there. We could actually just copy this in case you wanted to use the same format. And you don't always have to use a video, which is gonna be fine. We could do forward slash. We have our content break. And at the end, we can sign off. I believe I do have a picture of me. I think it's a little big, but I'm just gonna keep it as it is just to kind of show you where it would go. Something like, till we speak again, just like signing off. And of course, if you wanna move this below, you could do something like that. I know that's a little bit too big, but just kind of showcasing. So the good thing about this, like I said, it's not a whole lot in here. The idea is that you're creating a skeleton. So this would obviously stay the same, your logo. And this you can change around, but this time, you know, we're gonna keep that your same newsletter name, but the rest of it, we're gonna be talking about webinars. We're gonna be talking about affiliate marketing, about YouTube marketing, whatever it's going to be, right? So everything else, a lot of the, the headlines you're gonna need to change here. You need to change this as well, but you can kind of keep it like this where you understand what you're going to be talking about. Like, why is this so important? Why is this so valuable? You can break it up with some nice benefits because people like to skim read and obviously benefits are a good thing depending on what you're talking about. Like, I don't know what your niche is, so I can't assume, but um, after this, we have some more text if needed. This is how you embed videos. And another great way to get some more clicks too, you can add it down there. Now we're going to be repeating the process ultimately and then just signing off with a really big signature, but... Nevertheless, last step here, we're gonna do save template. All right, and I think they explain this perfectly. Templates are the easiest way to jumpstart your writing. Your post will be saved as a template. You can use it as a starting point rather than starting from scratch. It's kind of like if you're going to write, say a blog post and you're like, I don't know what to write. You're staring at white space. This can really help you with that as long as you're giving yourself some good points. And obviously as you go on, you can fine tune your template even more. You'll know specifically what to talk about in each of the sections. Maybe you'll leave yourself a note, like talk about the features, but explain why that's a benefit for someone and so on and so on so forth. What you can do is save and view template too. And here's just the example that's gonna be showcased. You're gonna notice how like a lot of these things are just kind of formatted differently. That's because I changed it in these specific, let's see, we have design right here. If you go to the newsletter builder, you can change around your font, the spacing, like how much spacing there is between headlines and how much there's going to be between the pictures and so on and so forth. Uh, but I think that looks pretty good. Aside from this being huge, I would just use a smaller one. But, and if you wanna use it, you can just go to use this template and then that's where you can start off, save yourself a lot of time. And that's pretty much gonna conclude this tutorial when it comes to using Beehive, creating newsletter templates, editing them, saving them so they can keep using them over and over to ultimately save you a good amount of time. If you got any value out of this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a lot as well and I greatly appreciate it. Any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and either me or someone else can get back to you. I have been getting a ton of comments lately with all the videos I have that I'm expanding upon even more. So if I don't get back to you, I apologize in advance. Uh, last but not least, I do have a free gift in the description in case you need some more help when it comes to tools for building and growing your digital business. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.